today, I'm gonna make some homemade garlic bread. And we're gonna start by toasting the garlic for the garlic bread. That just mellows its flavor and makes it a little easier to work into a paste. So you're gonna need nine or 10 cloves of garlic. And you can see I've separated the cloves from the head of garlic, but I've left the papery skins on. We're gonna toast the garlic on the stove in their skins. So here I have a little skillet. And I'm just gonna add again, nine or 10 cloves. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, come back here. Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> eight, nine, 10. All right. And I'm just gonna toast these over medium heat. It takes about eight to 10 minutes. Uh, I'm gonna give the skillet a good little jostle every now and again. And the garlic's gonna soften and those papery skins are gonna get spotty brown. And that's how you know your garlic is nicely toasted. The garlic's toasted, look at that, that's beautiful. You can see it looks burnt, which is perfect. It's not burnt on the inside. It'll be a little charred. It's soft. All right, and it's just a loaf of bread. Now, obviously, this is one of those Italian football style loaves. It's a supermarket loaf. It's squishy. It doesn't have a thick crust. It is not an artisanal loaf. And that is what you want. You want supermarket Italian bread for this. All right, so obviously we're gonna cut it in half. Use a sharp knife. Now, cutting it in half <laughs> is harder than it looks. So what I do is I go slow, I stand it on end, and I really make sure I look through both sides because you really don't want the top to be too thick. So go slow, slice it through. There you go. <laughs> oh, all right, set those aside. Now we gotta make the flavorful butter that's gonna go on top. And here I have six tablespoons of unsalted butter. I know it's a lot of butter, so sue me, but it's a lot of bread. Now to the butter, we're gonna add garlic. Now here's the toasted garlic. You see, I'm gonna peel this off, peel off this outer paper, and you can see that the cloves underneath still have a little of that browning on it. That's good caramelized garlic flavor, I love that. So I'm gonna peel off all the papery skins, and they kind of just fall off, really. There is all of our toasted garlic. All right, now I'm gonna chop up the garlic, but I'm gonna sprinkle it with a little bit of salt. That salt just adds a little bit of texture, almost like sand or sandpaper, to make it easier to chop up the sticky garlic. You can see how soft this garlic is. I'm gonna chop it into rough pieces, and then I'm actually gonna scrape it against the side of the board to make a nice garlic paste that'll meld really well with the butter. Now it's not as soft as roasted garlic. That's much softer and has a much more roasty flavor. This is toasted garlic, so it has a little bit of that raw flavor, which is perfect for this garlic bread. Never happened. Never, ha oh, it's so good. All right, so there's the garlic paste right into this bowl of unsalted butter. Again, that's six tablespoons. I use unsalted because salt amounts in salted butter vary so much based on the brand of butter you buy. So if I buy unsalted butter, I can add the salt myself, which I prefer. I'm gonna add a little more salt. Last but not least, gonna add some Parmesan, about two tablespoons thereabout. Maybe a little extra. Yeah, that's good. Oh, look, a piece fell off. Hmm. I don't when that happens. All right, so that's the garlic bread. So I'm just gonna take about half of this and I'm gonna spread it on the bread. I'm using this very stiff spatula. Ha ha ha, ha ha ha. All right, let's put this on a sheet pan. And this is ready for the oven. 500 degree oven, ripping hot, as hot as you can get it. About eight minutes or so, halfway through, we'll spin it around so that it browns evenly on all sides. So, let's check the garlic bread. Oh, goodness, doesn't that look terrible? I don't think I should serve this. I think I should eat it all myself. A little salt and pepper on it right out of the oven. Oh, so good. Just cut this up into nice pieces so people can just grab it right off the platter. I like leaving a few, a few big pieces for Mr. Ian because he likes the garlic bread. Take a little taste, are you kidding me? That fluffy bread. Mmm, perfection. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Thanks for watching. What'd you think? Leave a comment below and let me know what you're excited to cook this week. And while you're at it, hit that subscribe button. You can get today's recipes and more for free at our website, americastestkitchen.com slash Julia at home.